everyone! In today's video, I will be discussing toy suggestions or gift suggestions for toddlers and babies. Now, I have already filmed my women's and men's gift guide, and I'll either throw up a card or link it down below if you want to check those out. But today, it's all about the children, as it should be, and so I'm going to give you some of my suggestions for gifts that they will enjoy. Now, I personally think that shopping for babies are the easiest. Babies and toddlers are so easy. My son, he's 16 months and if I gave him a bag of rocks, string and dirt, he would be happy. If I give him the remote control for the TV, ecstatic. Like he's so easy to shop for I think in terms of gifts. Everything is a toy and he's curious about everything. But in the name of decency, Christmas and let's say Santa, we're obviously going to buy him presents for Christmas. Now my first suggestion for a gift is very heavy. I hope I can lift it. Okay, I have not been in the gym in a very long time. I will do some close-ups of this, but this is actually an activity center, an activity cube by the company B Toy, and it's the Zanny Zoo themed one. So it's a lot of zoo animals that are um, all over this cube. They do have, I know they have a safari and I think an underwater or ocean themed one. But this is the one with all the zoo animals, and my son loves this thing. It was actually given to us as a gift for his first birthday from his uh, godparents and he loves it. So this activity cube has several different activities that you know your child will enjoy and just be entertained by for a very long time. Um, in fact, before he got this, we used to visit this like playroom in our area and there was one of these there and he was like maybe nine months and he started playing with the thing and he was so entertained by it and so curious so even like earlier than a year I think the suggested age is either 12 months or something to three but um, my son started playing with it when he was nine months old he was very curious um, so yeah it has hopefully you can see it but I'll do close-ups um, this like roller coaster bead area at the top um, it also has like spinning letters and it has these wooden circles that race. That's actually my son's favorite part of this little cube. He likes to see which wooden little circle will get to the bottom first and he loves the sound that it makes when it's racing. And the kids are exposed to so many numbers and letters and colors and animals. I think it just makes a wonderful present. I remember when I was younger, my doctor's office, my pediatrician, had something very similar to this and I loved playing with it but I never had one in my own house so it was kind of like I kind of look forward to going to the doctors just for the toys not the shots but I was like really excited to go to the doctor so it's kind of like nostalgic to watch him play with this cube and uh, yeah it really makes me happy to see him so excited now moving on to my son's favorite toy I mean this is like the creme de la creme in his opinion he loves this toy he plays with it every day multiple times a day when he first wakes up in the morning and I bring him out of the room he literally goes to this one toy and plays with it and we have affectionately called it Dino it is a pop-up dino ball machine thing and we got it from Target. Now it comes with I think about five balls but don't ask me where the other ones are. He's probably used them as golf balls or whatever. I don't know. He probably threw them somewhere. Um, let me just turn it on so you can see how it works. So it pop So as you can see it actually bounces the balls up but it does it with more force than what it's doing now. This dino needs batteries. Now, I got this for my son when he was about six months old, maybe a little older, maybe nine months, I'm not sure. I have replaced the batteries like five times because he plays with it that much. I mean, everything goes on dino. My husband actually calls this machine the, the mixing pot because he literally puts everything, anything new in his life, the remote control. He puts food pouches on this. He puts clothes on the top to watch it bounce. Like he loves this thing and it keeps, I'm, I'm telling you, I can wash the dishes and he's still playing with this thing. And because it's so loud, I don't have to wonder if he's gone in another part of my apartment because I literally hear him playing with this. Like I hear the music, so I know exactly where he is. So it, it kind of works as not only a great toy for him, but it's like my little babysitter. Like I know where my kid is. Anyway, I'm just gonna try and show you how it works. 
just kind of tap this bottom lever. I hope you can hear me over the noise. Honestly, usually this is what my house sounds like. And the balls just bounce up and down. See that? Bounce. Bounce. Okay, the battery is <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. See? Yeah, it's not working. And then, let me just turn it off. Then you can kind of put the balls in here and they roll out of the diner's mouth like this. Look, look. And then the balls just roll all over the floor and your child, if your child is crawling, they can crawl after the balls. If they're walking, they can get the balls and put them back on dino. Um, I think this is a great gift. I'm not going to say it works for everybody's child, but for my child, this is his favorite toy. And I'm actually going to insert a video so you can see him playing with it and see how much he enjoys it. Of course, I'm going to have to go get new batteries um, because dino is dead. is a finger painting kit for your baby or toddler so the minimum age for this is 12 months old so this is an older baby or a younger toddler and I actually allowed my son to play with it last month um, I'll actually link the video so you can see we painted pumpkins and he used this finger painting kit which was great the paints were easy to wash so they're very much so washable um, we washed our hands and his clothes and the little surface that it might have got on um, and they're non-toxic as well and it just allows babies to have like that sensory experience to feel the paint he was really before he even like started to paint the pumpkin he was just looking at his hands like oh my goodness what is the stuff on my hands like he was so into it Kids love painting, even older children, like if you're thinking of what to get an older child, they just love painting. I remember in art class when I was in elementary school, whenever it was time to paint, like we were all there. Nobody played sick that day. Like everybody wants to paint. Um, it's just something so like exciting about it. For some reason, for the older kids, I think it's just, oh, painting is messy. Painting, we don't get to do it. It's a special treat. So allowing you know children to experience um, the art of painting is just something that is a great gift. And uh, yeah, I would recommend this. My first Crayola finger painting kit is the name of it. And of course, like everything I talk about, I'll link it down below along with the prices and anything else that you um, need to know. So if you want to buy it, it will be all down there. All right, so my next idea for maybe an older toddler is to get a puzzle. Um, and the ones that I really like are this Melissa and Doug's um, puzzle. This one's called Around the House, but they're really cool because when you lift the little puzzle piece up, it actually makes a noise. So whatever they're doing behind the like house door or window, you can actually hear it. So let me just read you kind of what's behind this window is a bathtub, so you hear the sound of water. So it's like, that is not good water imitation. <laughs> anyway, you hear like the gushing sound of water. Um, and then behind this window, you hear ring, time to wake up. So it's like an alarm sound. So they're not only exposed to um, like shapes, you have squares and different shapes. They hear sounds as well. So it's a full sensory experience. Um, it says here it's appropriate for age two, and I do believe that because I have another puzzle that my son has played with, and he doesn't understand. He just likes to, if I put the puzzle pieces back in like the spot, he just throws the pieces or he puts it in his mouth. Like it isn't, I mean, it's nice to expose children, I, I believe anyway, to any experience that you can, but you can't expect like a one year old or anyone younger to know how to like solve a puzzle and put the pieces where they belong. Unless you have a very smart child on your hands. In my experience, I found that older kids seem to like puzzles 
puzzles. Um, it's something for them to do independently or as a family. So uh, yeah, the Melissa and Doug sound puzzle is something a little different. It's you know more interactive and something that they may find a little bit more entertaining than just you know your standard puzzle. Now if you're trying to find kind of like a puzzle kind of thing for like a baby or a younger toddler, something that you may want to check out that kind of promotes critical thinking is this Fisher-Price Shapes Sorter. That's kind of hard to say. Fisher-Price Shape Sorter. <sighs> okay, so there's different shapes here that come in like a little bucket and the baby can, you know, sort the shapes and get them inside of the bucket. So you have like a square, a triangle, a star, a cross, and a circle. And my son has been playing with this since a very young age, even before he could figure it out. At this moment, he only really knows how to put the square in and the circle. Everything else, he tries to fit in the square. So that's that. But it's really nice. It exposes them to shapes. Of course, you know, the blocks are made of plastic. It's BPA free and they're very big. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your kid choking on it. It's not a choking hazard. And uh, yeah, you can kind of stack them up or just hold them. I find that babies just like to feel different things. It's, you know, for them, everything is sensory. So it's either going to go in their mouth or they're going to throw it. So if you're going to throw something, why not let it be some safe plastic? So my next gift idea is not like a toy or thing, something of that sort. It's actually a uh, snowsuit or a bunting um, that will help keep a child warm during the cold weather. Now, I don't know where you stay. Um, if you stay somewhere that's warm, then you probably wouldn't want to dabble into this. No, you really wouldn't at all. Maybe a light jacket will do. But if you live somewhere cold where it snows, a warm snowsuit all in one for a baby or toddler is like essential in my opinion. Um, this one is by Columbia and Columbia is pretty well known for making um, cold weather gear and essentials. And this one, I actually got one last year for my son um, when he was a baby and it kept him warm and toasty all year round. Um, I would take him for walks in like 20 degree weather and when I would go home and check him like nothing was cold on him, his hands were warm, his feet were warm, he was like warm and toasty and I was still freezing. I got him the toddler size and it's the snuggly bunny bunting, um, but the great thing about it is, let me just show you the bottom, this is like the bottom leg right here and as you can see you have an option, this little flap comes over so you can close their feet off or if they're wearing shoes you can open it up and just like let their foot and leg or whatever be out. Um, so it works very well for children who are walking as well. And then even with the hands, like if you have their hands out or if you don't, you can just pull this over and their hands are no longer exposed to the cold weather. Of course, young children, they want to go outside all throughout the year. And when it snows, they want to build snowmen and make snow angels and things like that. Like they want to have fun all year round. Um, and I think that something like this will allow them to, you know, go out and enjoy the cold weather. Now, in terms of what it's made out of, the hood actually is lined with fleece. Um, although I always put like a, a hat on my son so he'll be extra warm and then the actual like body of the bunsen is um, well insulated it has like down feathers in it so it's nice and warm and the bright thing about it it's not very puffy so if you're traveling you can like easily just roll it up and pack it and it's like no big deal like see that it just rolls up really small um, so that's great and since it rolls up so small and it's not like very thick I know a lot of coats are like big puffer jackets um, for this since it's not very thick it will fit your car seat so you don't have to take the child out of the bunsen in order to put them in the car seat so I think that is great and it's a little less work for you of course they're going to be really really warm but i would rather my child be warm than freezing so my final gift idea is actually a gift that um i haven't even given my son yet i'm going to give it to him as one of his christmas presents um but it's actually this i'm going to try and get it all on camera <laughs> it's this um oh gosh three in one sports zone can you see that 
And in this little sports kit thing, it has soccer, bowling, and basketball. Okay, I am weak. Like, you know what I need for Christmas? Some weights, because I cannot lift this thing, oh my goodness. So of course, I cannot exactly tell you a true review about it because I haven't opened it, um, but I've seen rave reviews about it on Amazon, and I've actually seen like advertisement for it on TV, that's where I originally saw it. Because my son is really into like anything with a ball. He loves like soccer balls and like NFL books, like he likes to roll them and kick them and throw them at me. So I thought this would be a great little thing for him for um, Christmas. So the basketball hoop right here actually lights up. It says several phrases. Um, I'm just reading off of the box. Um, it teaches them like numbers and counting and things of that sort. It says over 75 sounds and phrases. So it's not just, you know, uh, standard like basketball hoop or a soccer net. Um, it's actually like interactive and it makes sounds. And I'm kind of happy for that because I think my son and most children in general, like they love like the sounds and music. Um, it makes it more interactive and more and engaging, I guess. So it also says here that they're going to learn about numbers, colors, and shapes. So once I actually open it, which will be Christmas Day, I can give you a better review on it. If you would like that, just comment down below. Let me know if you want to know more about it. Um, but of course, if you're trying to purchase this for like Christmas, then definitely go online and research it and see the reviews that I saw. People are saying that their children really love it and it's very sturdy and very well made. So the ages that it's suited for is 12 to 30 six months so one to three years old it's easy storage see there it just closes up and it can fit between like the couch and the wall and that's something that i really like because i don't really have a whole lot of space he has enough toys so i'm like where would i put this and when i saw that it collapses like that like it fills up really easily that was something that you know really appealed to me so i'm excited to give him this and um see how he likes it and how he plays with it and stuff but this is just an idea like if you have a child who's into sports i mean they're children but you kind of can tell what they like and what they don't like you know you can tell like if your child is into like athletic things or not like if they're more into sitting down and reading or if they are on the go i think my son is very active as most children are so he needs something that he can actually like be active like a game that's going to get him up and running and throwing he loves stuff like that um and it can grow with your child as i said earlier i'm just looking here the basketball hoop actually rises um so it's you can start it low and then as they get taller you know raise the height um, and I think it's also great for people who have children, like siblings who are close in age. I think it's a wonderful thing that they can play together with because you can play like games together. Um, you can get the father involved. Like if you have a father who is, you know, into sports, um, then of course he's going to love teaching his son or daughter how to play football or soccer or basketball or bowling, you know? something It's something to me that's going to get the entire family involved. So I'm excited to see, you know, how my son interacts with it and how my husband and I can join his play and um, really make it like a fun family toy, if that is a thing. I don't know. That's just my thinking, like obviously when I suggest these gifts in, in this video and others, this is just an idea. Like you may not like the actual thing I'm suggesting, but it may trigger something else that you know you can get because around the holidays, let's face it, like it's stressful and if you're a parent, you know like you have enough to do. So I hope that you have enjoyed my gift guide and my suggestions. I hope that it has been helpful in some way or not, I don't know. <laughs> um, please like if you enjoyed it or comment down below and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. My next part, the fourth and final part of my gift guide is stocking stuffers. So be on the lookout for that and I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys are doing well and uh, take care guys. Bye!